Filipino and today I'm gonna show you how you can modify the procedure used by Gauss to find the following sum. So here, explain how you can modify the procedure used by Gauss to find the following sum. The step 1 is to write out the given series, S is the sum. Step 2, add the series to itself but reverse the order of the terms. 65 all the way to 1. Step 3, add the two equations and solve for the sum. 65 plus 1 is 66, 64 plus 2 is 66, and so on. Notice that this is all 66. So 2s is equal to 66. How many 66 are there? That's the number we multiply in here. In order to determine the number, we go back to slope-intercept form of a line. I'm gonna show it here. The n is term number, and the t plus n is term. So, the first term is 1, second is 2, third, 3, 4, and 5. We can see here that the growth of every column is just by 1. If the growth factor is the same, we can go ahead and say this table represents a linear function. So, we're gonna change the equation we have here. So, our y was actually t plus n, which is the term and is equal to our slope here which is 1 and our x is the term number n and our b is 0 so that's plus 0 so the t of n is equal to n we have here our first term second term third term up to 65th term we can say that the 65th term is equal to n so n is equal to 65 the total number here is 65, so that's what we're gonna put here and multiply. So if we multiply 66 times 65, it's equal to 4290. Now we're gonna solve for S, which is the sum. Let's divide both sides by 2. We can say that the value of S is 2145. That means that the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 65 is 2,145. So the sum for all this is 2,145. Thank you all for watching. This is Jeline Constantino signing off.